The Dalai Lama is in the Bay Area tonight, but not everyone is welcoming his visit. And it comes here directly from a controversial meeting. The Dalai Lama wrapped up his event here at Davies Symphony Hall a few hours ago, but during his entire speech inside, protesters were there just across the street. Religious freedom, Dalai Lama dear. They accuse the Dalai Lama of religious persecution and human rights abuses. Those who follow the Shugden practice of Buddhism claim the Dalai Lama has publicly denounced their traditions and beliefs. Some fellow Buddhists have labeled him a spiritual dictator and a hypocrite who tells lies and suppresses religious freedom. The international Shugden community says signs refusing entry and service to the people of their faith have gone up in restaurants, stores and medical facilities. So they claim that His Holiness is responsible for religious persecution as well as human rights violations. They say that the Dalai Lama has publicly banned the tradition of making prayers to the Buddhist deity Dorje Shugden. <laughs> A few weeks after the Dalai Lama's speech, Shugden monks could no longer enter monasteries. About a hundred people attacked us. Had we gone out of our house, they definitely would have killed us. They broke into our house and destroyed everything. They smashed the china, demolished the TV with stones, wrecked the fridge, all the windows. They destroyed everything. Two people came right up to me and told me to give up my practice. And they started physically to attack me, so I tried to defend myself. But I was worried about my children. Are you aware of the potential for violence that your band contains? No, no. So they will get very, very... No. no. Nobody harming. Nobody harming on them. But I've seen the calls for violence no, no. in the newspaper. No, no, no. I've seen it with my own eyes. No. An 84-year-old monk was brutally attacked in a hate crime against Dorje Shugden practitioners.